What's up guys, Ryan Swanson here, District Cutlery. Uh, I have a letter in the mail. It says, Ryan, please take a look at the knife and tell me if you see anything indicating how I have not sharpened it properly, etc. I've always thought it would be sharper than it seems. I sharpened it a few times in the beginning and just gave up using the strop only. It works, but again, I feel it could be sharper. So, newbies out there, guys getting their, sharpening their knives on stones, why aren't you getting the edges that you think you should be getting? few things. He asked me to look at this knife in particular. I haven't sharpened it in. I have looked at it. Uh, it's a blue steel stainless clad Tsunahisa. Uh, it's 240 millimeter. Uh, now judging it, if you're using the, you know, it's the, the edges patina it a little bit. But I can tell that his problem was he's probably going too high of an angle. And I was going too high but inconsistent. So starting at one angle but naturally when you come out, you sort of want to, are going to want to roll your edge out like this. And coming back, you're going to bring it up like a sweep. It's just a natural motion that you make, uh, but you have to not do that. Because once you roll up that highest edge now, that's going to be your new edge unless you grind it all down at a lower angle. Uh, so I'd say, generally, that is why your knives aren't getting sharp at home, is that you're not having a consistent angle. It's so really the, like the most important thing about sharpening, keeping a consistent angle. I've talked about this in other videos. It's not what angle. That is important, but it's the consistency of the angle, which is what you're trying to do, right? You want a V, okay? You don't want, like, you don't want this big fat thing going down there with a sort of sharp tip. You want a V, all right? So another reason why he couldn't uh, get it sharp, this is blue steel, sort of has some abrasive resistance. Uh, he might not be getting a burr. So if you're just using fine stones, yes, I understand your knife's sharp already. You just want to hone it and keep it sharp, keep it on a fine stone. You're not going to develop a burr, but it seems like he put a little bit of effort grinding into it. Um, or if your knife is a little bit duller and it needs like a full grind and a coarser grit, it's best to develop a burr. In fact, you have to develop a burr. Um, if you don't get a burr on the rougher stones, don't move on. So it could be that you're not getting a burr. Uh, something else, uh, it could be a bad profile. I checked this out. Sometimes these laminated blades like this, uh, they end up bending fairly easily and it's just sort of a nature of the blades in the making process and just in general, uh, they tend to bend, they tend to end up bending a little bit. So you want to, if you have a knife that's bent this way and you're sharpening on a stone, that part sticking out, that's going to be ground away. So I notice back here. You might have a little bit of a recurve toward the heel, and actually, it, it's it's like so slight you can't you no one would even notice. So I don't think that is the reason, but that can be a reason why your knife is not getting sharp. Especially Japanese laminated blades, they bend. Which if you sharpen, especially like an Asuba, flat, completely flat profile on the edge. If that thing is bent a little bit or warped in any way that profile is going to be out of, uh, that edge profile is going to be recurved very, very easily. Those are probably the most challenging fixes actually with Subas because of the flat profile. Um, dished out stones. Okay, so why isn't your knife getting dull? You probably like, you got a combo stone, it's probably 10 years old, 1,000 grit combo, whatever, 6,000, and you've been sharpening and sharpening and sharpening, and now your stone looks like a half pipe skateboarding, okay? Like, you probably didn't even notice that, but if you're using that kind of stone, like, Going on that curved surface, well, now your edge is, now your edge is, uh, is also round, which is then rounding the stone, which is then rounding the edge. So flatten your stones. Uh, I use Nano Hone. What is this? The NL10 Nano Hone uh, Diamond Flattener. It's an incredible product. Uh, it's for pros. You know what I mean? I'm a pro, so I got the pro stuff. I'm using Nano Hone today as well for stones. Um, 35 grit, 35 micron, 70, I don't know, 15 and 6. I generally stop at 6. Um, but Nano Hones are nice stones. You guys want to up your stone game? I can't speak enough highly about these. Uh, always super flat, easy to flatten. Not too hard of a stone, not too soft of a stone. Um, you know, I'd kind of put it in between maybe the Shapton Pro and Shapton Glass as far as the hardness. Um, but again, very good product. They usually come with this anchor too, this little base anchor uh, that you can, it fits right in there nice. 
and this is, you know, this got some rubber cleats here to keep it. So this is a little high for me. So uh, with my existing setup, this is, just fits nicely home. But the accessories uh, they're producing, again, all machine nicely, really nice stuff. So um, if you're in your, up your stone game, Nano hones where it's at. But uh, so right now I'm going to sharpen this knife. So I'm going to go over what I talked about, like make, keep making a consistent angle making sure I develop a burr, making sure there's no recurve, which I might, I could probably get that recurve out, even though it's so slight. Uh, yeah. Pete, can you do me a favor? Can you plug that in? Can you plug it in real quick? I just unplugged it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. Right over to the left. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh... All right, so I'm going to start. This is blue steel. Again, it's not that dull. I'll start on 35 micron nano hone. Now, consistent angle. All right, now, I've said this in other videos. What is my angle? If you guys are wondering, is it like 12 degrees or like 13 degrees or 14 degrees? It is sort of like, again, the, the quality of the knife depends on the, quality, the lower the edge goes. So I sort of go like low, medium, high, somewhere in that ballpark. So let's say, all right, I'm gonna look. Okay, that's a good angle. I don't know what number that is. I can probably ballpark it, but I might be off by a degree or two, but it's just like, there it is, that's my angle, okay? So I'm gonna start at the base and sort of finger roll it. Uh, you can see how I'm doing. I'm just sort of sharpening this spot. This is where I had that recurve, so I'm gonna keep my fingers kind of here and work that front of that in the belly out. People ask how you'd sharpen the tip. Like, I like, this is how. I can't explain it in words. You just have to sort of move in like three axes. All right, so what am I doing now? I'm feeling for the burr. Okay, it'll be up the other side of where you sharpened. And it's pretty small. Work the other. See that recurve now? Now you can really see it because you can see. What part didn't hit the stone, which is gonna be right in here. This part right here barely touched the stone, but I'm gonna take down, I'm gonna take down this part right here. This is the recurve. I'm gonna take down this part right here and just the heel a little bit, but mostly from here. You don't wanna lose your heel height here. So focus here and bring the rest of the blade up to that point. What side was I on now? Feeling for a burr, feels good. Maybe I can just work that little recurve area real quick again, just to make sure. You don't want to move on to the next stone unless you're sure, or else you're going to be going back there and wasting your time. Another thing I've heard again, see if the knife is bent, okay? I kind of forgot that part. See if the knife is bent. This is straight. Generally, these OEM blades are pretty straight. If it is a little bent, you can sort of give it a little, give it a little love tug right there. <laughs> love tug, you hear that? Okay, there's a good burr. Now I'll move on to 15 micron. That was 35. And I'm just doing the same thing now. Working my fingers up. Working my fingers down. Sure, pressure on each spot. Trying to use the whole stone as well. So the other thing, don't sit in one spot over your stone, or else you're gonna dish it out real quick. So try to try to like distribute your pressure points. You know, wherever this hand, this guide hand is, 
you know, that's where the pressure is to see how I move it over to one side and another. Let me clean this. Every little knife has their little, like, little weird things about them. All right, be fine. Let's go this one more time. All right, now that's it for that crit. Again, another thing with sharpening: don't over sharpen. Like once you go through the once you go through one side and then another real fast, you're generally fine. I see you guys sitting on it for so long. It shouldn't take that long. Fifteen micron. We we'll go to six micron. Use some fresh water, I get in these finer grits. Again, consistent angle. And make sure you have all those things, like you may notice with the first couple of grits, oh, now we have a problem. Like you saw me looking at it after the first one, like I was at recurve. Find all the problems before you move on through all the stones or else you're just wasting your time. Try to take corrective action before you even get, you know, before you even go on the stones, you should be able to look at it, assess it and see exactly what's happening and what it's gonna take. Assessment, when I teach classes, that's sort of like the number one thing. If you're, you know, you're doing bulk sharpening or not even bulk, if you're at a farmer's market, or you're doing whatever, people bring up your knives. Make sure you like take a close look at them, right? Examine every one. You know, you if you're doing use like Wustoffs or like the Faberwares or whatever. I'm not comparing those two. Um, I'm just saying like customers appreciate when you take a look and like, hey, what's going on with this knife? Or talk about, oh, what kind of steel is this or this and that. You know, but assess it, right? Take a look at it. Is it straight? Is the profile weird? Uh, is there chips or damage, corrosion? You know. This is more for the pros, of course, but just like assess every blade before you get working. It's going to save you time in the long run. Okay, okay. Uh, six micron. You know what? Let's take this to two micron. Two micron. These nano hone stones, they have they have their own feel. They're really they're not. Like, how do they compare to other stones? It's tough to compare them because they're just so unique. Like, the feedback I'm getting from this 2 micron, it, it feels a little bit ag more aggressive, but I promise you, it's not at all. You can hear that little noise. Sometimes there's a tiny little burr that will come off. You can sort of hear when you're when you sharpen one side and go on, but that could have been burr or just my dirty shop. Okie dokie. So that's all the work I'll do on stones. I used to strop on stones as well. Like when I finish, now I'll just strop on my on leather with some compound or some, uh, yeah, compound. Where's my strop? He's on plus. Mise en place, chefs. <laughs> uh, it's ironwood, it's just my strop. And I can I put a notch in here. Uh, I got a little notch in there, so if I gotta bend any, bend any blades, you know, that comes in handy. 
Uh, I think I got two, one micron gunny juice on here. So I went from a two micron stone to one micron gunny juice. I mean, I'm sure there's some not exactly line up, especially being leather. But, you know, just a little bit, getting any little burrs off. Happy little edge. All right, I generally run the three finger test of sharpness. That spot that I thought it might be recurved is definitely fine. Looks fine. Also too, you know what, make sure if you're stropping or whatever you're done, wipe your edges down nice and clean because sometimes you'll get some gunk on the, like, the very apex of your edge and it's not gonna feel too sharp. So literally just kind of carefully, just kind of wipe everything down. If you wanna do a little shave test. I like to shave just with the very tip. There you go. And that's it, guys. So, again, what are my points? Uh, you're not keeping your angle consistent. That's, like, number one. You're gonna, really going to be rolling it up and rolling it back. Just what you do. So just try to, like, come to the end and just very slowly just say, like, this hand is going to be a jig, okay? And just make sure, like, you're the machine and this isn't moving. You're going to adjust it to the angle you want. And crank it down. Lock it down. Um, oh, you're not getting a burr, go to a course for stone, get your burr. Don't spend all your time like a thousand grit if you got to go to a thousand or if you got to go down to 200 or 320 or something. Uh, the bad profile, check your profile, see if it's, see if it's straight. If it's not, I'm saying if it's, if the knife is bent, chances are your knife might be, uh, a little bit out, uh, out of profile on the edge. This is fine now. And, uh, dished out stones, flatten your stones. That's number one. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, check out our website for great knives, super sweet deals, and uh, I'll try to keep the cool content coming. Thank you.